This episode is brought to you by Skillshare. The first thousand people to sign up using the link in the description will get their first two months free. Tardigrades are strange-looking, slow-moving microscopic animals. They are semi-translucent, segmented like caterpillars, and have eight limbs with claws at the end of each one. They are also called moss piglets and water bears, and they are found almost everywhere on the planet. Some of them live completely in water, while others are terrestrial and exist in damp vegetation and soil. According to Live Science, they suck the juices from algae, lichens, and moss, and some species are carnivores and even cannibals. What makes them special is their unusual survival skills, which we'll discuss in this episode of The Infographic Show. What makes tardigrades immortal? Tardigrades are not immortal in the sense that they live forever, however they can endure extreme conditions that would kill many other animals. One common problem terrestrial tardigrades experience is dehydration. They need at minimum a thin film of water to function, but the long-term absence of water is not necessarily a death sentence for them the way it is for humans, white-tailed deer, and many other animals. Tardigrades can be revived after years of drought. Just add water and they are good to go. Tardigrades also don't easily freeze to death, even in sub-zero temperatures. According to an American Scientist article, they have survived short-term freezing for 20 hours at functional absolute zero or negative 459.3 degrees Fahrenheit, and long-term storage for 20 months at negative 328 degrees Fahrenheit. It can tolerate temperatures that are even cooler than the red flatbark beetle of Alaska, which has survived temperatures as low as negative 238 degrees Fahrenheit, according to a Business Insider article. Tardigrades can be thawed and revived in a short period of time. In addition, tardigrades can withstand high temperatures. The American scientist reports that they have lived after being exposed to 150 degrees Celsius, far above the boiling point of water. To give you an idea of just how hot this is, Guinness World Record states that the highest recorded temperature on Earth was 56.7 degrees Celsius, which occurred at California's Death Valley in 1913. This record temperature is less than half the scorching temperature the tardigrades were exposed to. If freezing and boiling them weren't enough, scientists tested the toughness of the tardigrades in other extreme ways. They tried to crush them with high pressure. A Live Science article reports that tardigrades can withstand pressures of up to 87,000 pounds per square inch, six times what you'd experience at the bottom of the sea. It also noted that just half this pressure would kill most other organisms on Earth. One of those organisms would be humans. We can withstand only about one atmosphere of pressure according to the American Museum of Natural History. This is a measly 14.2 pounds per square inch. And then the scientists hit them with high levels of x-rays, gamma rays, and other types of radiation. The Mother Nature Network reports that researchers found some water bears can survive radiation doses of 5,000 to 6,000 grays. Once again, tardigrades prevail where humans easily fail. We sicken and die after exposure to significantly lower levels of radiation. According to the CDC, it only takes about 0.7 grays of radiation for a human to develop radiation sickness under certain conditions, and 10 grays is the LD100 dose that is necessary to kill 100% of the exposed population. These tough, tiny animals have also faced the final frontier, outer space. Tardigrades in space may sound like the title of a science fiction B-movie, but it actually happened in 2007. Popular Mechanics briefly described the tardigrades' off-planet experience. A European team of researchers sent a group of living tardigrades to orbit the Earth on the outside of a Photon M3 rocket for 10 days. When the water bears returned to Earth, the scientists discovered that 68% lived through the ordeal. Up to that point, no known animal on Earth had accomplished such a feat, and there are good reasons why. One source described outer space as the coldest physical approximation of a perfect vacuum. The very low pressure of outer space would suck out the air of animals with lungs. There's also the dangers of ionizing radiation. Among the open space conditions described in a Space.com article are deadly levels of solar UV radiation, which are more than 1,000 times higher than on the surface of the Earth. And then there is the extreme cold. The temperature in outer space is negative 454 degrees Fahrenheit. How are tardigrades able to survive in conditions that are inhospitable to most life on Earth? If necessary to save their lives, 
tardigrades enter a state that ironically mimics death, called cryptobiosis. A Live Science article reports that in this reversible near-death condition, the tardigrade's metabolic activity gets as low as 0.01% of normal levels. What happens to them next depends on what extreme conditions they are subjected to. If the problem they face is the absence of water, tardigrades can undergo a form of cryptobiosis called anhydrobiosis, which the American scientist defines as the metabolic suspension brought on by nearly complete desiccation. The tardigrades curl up, dry out, and shrivel into smaller structure called tons. They enter a dry state of suspended animation called anabiosis, and they are essentially reduced to a powder comprised of the ingredients of life. Popular Mechanics notes that this desiccated state also allows them to endure utter vacuum and intense pressures. They can be rehydrated back to life in a short period of time with some form of moisture, such as rain or dew. If they are submerged in water with dangerous levels of salinity, tardigrades can undergo a form of cryptobiosis called osmobiosis. They can contract into a ton in this situation as well to avoid what the American scientists called destructive osmotic swelling. But it may not be necessary since active animals can survive high salinity, according to one source. When faced with extreme freezing conditions, tardigrades can undergo a form of cryptobiosis called cryobiosis. This state also involves a dramatic slowdown in metabolism and the formation of tons. According to the American scientist, some researchers believe that tardigrades also produce cryptoprotectants that slow down the tissue freezing process to the point where the most damaging ice crystallization is prevented and revival from thawing is possible. However, researchers still struggle to understand how tardigrades protect themselves from cell death caused by the expansion of water at extreme temperatures. Some of them think this protection comes from a sugar called trihelos. A popular mechanics article notes that trihelos replaces water and prevents remaining water molecules from rapidly expanding when faced with hot and cold temperatures. According to a Wired article, others became skeptical that trihelos is an extreme temperature protectant after the discovery that not all water bear species produce the sugar under stress. The ones that did only produced a small amount of it, about 2% of their body weight. A new theory is that tardigrades produce special proteins that protect themselves from the ravages of extreme temperatures. The same Wired article reports these proteins are made exclusively by tardigrades and are called intrinsically disordered proteins. These proteins bring on vitrification, a process that turns the tardigrade into a frozen glass figurine. Vitrification is a way for the tardigrades to bypass the most damaging effects of desiccation, which normally crystallizes living cells, shredding up proteins and DNA in the process. Tardigrades may not live forever, but an amazing byproduct of cryptobiosis is that it extends their lives way beyond their normally short lifespans, which range between 3 months and about 2 years depending on the species. Tardigrades don't age while they're in cryptobiosis. They can live in a state of suspended animation for years or even decades until they're revived. A Live Science article reports that scientists were able to bring back to life two tunes and an egg that had been in cryptobiosis for more than 30 years. In a 2016 experiment. There are also stories about a ton that was over 120 years old being revived in a 1948 experiment, but this research has never been duplicated according to the BBC. However, tardigrades don't always need to undergo cryptobiosis and form tunes to endure extreme conditions. In a BBC article, researcher Thomas C. Boothby says that tardigrades can survive freezing, radiation, and low oxygen condition without forming a ton. Experiments have also revealed that tardigrades can cope with excessive amounts of alpha, gamma, and ultraviolet radiation, even if they're not in the tone state. Tardigrades have other tricks they can turn to in order to survive. For instance, they produce high levels of antioxidants to reduce harmful chemicals created by desiccation and high radiation. They also produce another special protein that counteracts DNA damage. The live science journal Nature reported the recent discovery of a protein known as d -sup that prevented an animal's DNA from breaking under the stress of radiation and desiccation. It's important to keep in mind that there are some limitations to the tardigrade's impressive resiliency. First, not all tardigrades are extreme survivors. American scientist reports that marine and aquatic tardigrades did not evolve these characteristics because their environments are stable. The tardigrades that live in hot springs, Antarctica, and other places with highly variable and harsh environmental conditions are the ones that possess the extreme survival abilities. Second, 
Tardigrades can't handle oxygen deprivation as well as they can handle other extreme conditions. One source states that a lack of oxygen can trigger a cryptobiotic state called anoxybiosis. During anoxybiosis, the tardigrades become immobile, transparent, rigid, and very extended due to water absorption resulting from loss of osmotic control, and they can't live very long in this condition. Depending on the species, they can survive a few hours up to five days in anoxybiosis. They will die if oxygen is not restored within that time frame. Third, the tardigrade's ability to undergo cryptobiosis does not mean that they can come back from the dead. Tardigrades are still alive and even though they may seem dead in cryptobiosis, there is still some metabolic activity going on during cryptobiosis even though it is very low. One source notes that death differs from cryptobiosis because it involves the cessation of metabolic activity. Unlike cryptobiosis, death is also considered an irreversible state. Tardigrades may not be immortal as individual organisms, but they have a kind of immortality as a group. According to Live Science, they have survived five mass extinctions over the course of around half a billion years. Volcanic eruptions, sudden climate change, and possibly even a comet or an asteroid impact may have wiped out ancient life forms like trilobites and dinosaurs, but tardigrades lived on. Given the tardigrades' great track record of survival, scientists are optimistic that these cute but hardy creatures will continue to exist after the next mass extinction event. A 2017 study cited in a Telegraph article predicts that the astonishing abilities of the tardigrade will make it the only creature that will survive until the sun dies. If you want to be immortal like the tardigrade, why not learn how to write, produce, and animate your own online videos like us here at the Infographics Show? After all, they say the internet is forever, so check out Skillshare for the skills you need to make high-quality content. With classes like Creative Personal Writing, Write the Real You, and the Beginner's Guide to Animating Custom GIFs, you can be on your way to online immortality today. You can learn about these and many other topics by joining Skillshare. Premium membership will give you unlimited access to topics that will improve your knowledge and your life. The first thousand people to sign up by visiting Skillshare.com slash Infographics35 or by clicking the link in the description will receive two months of Skillshare absolutely free. Join Skillshare and start learning today. Do you know of any other animals with amazing survival skills like those of the tardigrades? Do you think humans can ever become immortal? Let us know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out our other video called Why Would a Scientist Inject Himself with 3.5 Million Year Old Bacteria? Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.